everybody, it's me, Lisa here, checking in. I know it's been a while since my last check-in. It's June 18th already. I'm trying to make these video check-ins a little more frequent. Uh, stuff has happened. I started a new blog on my official website, lisaingart.com. You can see it here, lisaingart.com, and you just hit the blog button. I decided to move my blog over onto my main official domain because why not use it? I already have it. And there's my updates. I sold a couple prints since we last cheaty chatted. I sold a print of the horse harem. I sold that one online. You can also find the link here to buy different prints and things. I sold another print, the samurai cat. Thank you so much. And if anybody has pictures of their prints, um, or paintings of mine hanging in their home, feel free to send them over. You can email me, lisaangart at hotmail.com, L-I-S-A-N-G-A-R-T at hotmail.com, or send me a private message. I'd love to share these pictures. I also saw my painting of anglerfish in a kimono there. I'm pretty happy with it. That sold fast in about a week or two since I told people I finished it. Um, I'll show you the painting in person. The painting is paid for, but hasn't been picked up yet, probably because of the whole COVID-19 nonsense. Um, so there she is, and uh, she is got some sparkly paint. You can tell it kind of glimmers, depending what angle you look at her. I like her a lot. Um, she's kind of got this resting bitch face, but she's also very cute. It's a new series I'm embarking on of ugly animals and cute outfits because personality and character go a long way, despite what you might look like. Got a piece of fluff on there, sorry. And uh, she's lighting up a painting. This is The Great Wave by Hokusai, so I like to include historical works within my contemporary work sometimes because I think it's fun and I was such a big art nerd growing up I used to go to the library all the time and look up art books so I'd read a lot about different artists pasts and their history so I actually vlogged about that in my blog here you can find out a little bit more about the artist who did the original work there so this blog is basically about me, my art and stuff, stuff that inspires me. I started answering questions on Quora and then I added the post here on my blog too. What artwork helped you discover hidden meaning in your life? Which was an interesting question and I discovered a bunch of stuff. You can read about it here. Um, it's summertime so I blogged about my barbecue hot dog there. And with these posts, you can always find a little more about the painting. That's why they're fun to write about. I also watched a good movie recently, The King of Staten Island. Um, it's about Pete Davidson, well, loosely based on his life, and um, directed and written by Judd Apatow. Really good movie. I really enjoyed it. And it stars Steve Buscemi, who used to be a firefighter, which I thought was really interesting. I love reading stuff like that. Um, because I guess I'm a nurse and I'm a painter too, and Steve's so good at his craft and it's amazing to find that he was also a firefighter and I really respect firefighters. And, uh, what else? My painting here, I should talk about that, I'm running out of time. Um, this painting is the last painting of my series of 10 big animals in 10 different rooms. It's a gecko, a floral print. It's about 50% done. I still got a ways to go. And I'll, um, hmm. Right now I'm working on darkening the body of the gecko there. You can tell this is more of a black and yellow. This is more of a black and white. So, and I just thought the black and yellow looked better. I wanted to have a yellow light source in there and that's why I'm kind of changing it around a little. So that's gonna take a while to do. Um, I actually tip the painting over to work on it. I'll show you what I mean. Give me a second. I'm rotating the painting so I can work on it while sitting on my chair. There it is. So now I can sit on my computer chair here and work on it. Oops. And um, here's my 
trusty table here. This is the black and yellow I was talking about. I thin my paints with water. Right now I'm using the round brush to do the outlines and the flat brush to fill in the big spaces. This is the round brush. It's got a nice tip. And so I'll just do the outlines here around the flowers. This is a very time consuming process, but it's meditative and I listen to music while I do it, which is enjoyable. So here you can kind of see I'm working on the outlines, flattening the paints as I go. And then when I have big spaces here, I'll fill those in with the flat brush. I'll quickly show you what that looks like. I always dip my paintbrush in water before I start to use it, gets the air and bubbles out. But yeah, there you go. I just fill in the big areas of the flat brush. So that's what I'm working on for now. Um, thanks for watching and I'll hopefully check in sooner. Please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. And thanks for your support. Cheers.